Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the Springfield Hellcat. Introduced September 2019. It's a subcompact 9mm handgun that has the most magazine capacity than any other handgun in the industry of that size. So here you have an 11 round magazine. Over here is a 13 round magazine and a small little subcompact gun like that. It's a big time bonus for CCW. Here we have an unloaded pistol. And I've owned it since September. It's performed very well. Okay, very lightweight, small, carries well. And this is the non-OSP model. Okay, it's not optic ready. It does have the serrations that go all throughout. It has a three inch barrel, a tritium front dot, a U in the back. It's been accurate for me. It has the adaptive grip texturing, a five pound trigger that's flat faced, the accessory rail. It's just an impressive handgun. But now what they came out with, can you see the difference? <laughs> flat dark earth finish. And I think it looks super cool. Now, this is the OSP model, Optical Sight Pistol, and it has a Shield SMSC, stands for Shield Mini Sight Compact. And it's a red dot model. And so I'm going to check that out. You know, it's a it's a cool red dot. It's, it's polymer housed. It has a polymer lens in there. The dot is auto dimming. It's a 4 MOA, means that the dot will cover 4 inches at 100 yards. But... I've taken it throughout my house. It feels pretty well aligned up. You know, when I when I pointed an object in the house, I could see where that dot's pointing. I could look through the sights, and it looks pretty pretty clear right out of the box. I mean, uh, or shall I say, aligned pretty well. I, I'll be interested to to shoot this and see how many adjustments I have to make to the red dot. But it's the same pistol. So nothing has changed as far as the handgun is concerned. Same adaptive grip texturing that is a nice stipple. It feels great. And everywhere the hand touches, you're, you have that, that texturing there. Even on the memory bumps here for the weak side thumb, the finger over here, and even on the magazine. Now this is the 13 round magazine. And if you go with this model, you're going to get a, a soft case, the 11 round mag, and the 13 round mag. It, you also get, or you'll have the choice of getting the, or shall I say installing, the extended base plate in the 11 round mag or the flat base plate in the exact same magazine. But the 13 round mag, in my opinion, is the way to go for CCW. And you're looking at about 550 for the gun. All right, if you get it with the optic, you're looking at about 750. I've seen it for less, but who knows, you know, during this time same trigger pull all right we'll take a look at that i, I like this 13 round mag you toting around 14 rounds that's pretty good for ccw does have the front serrations the tritium dot the three inch barrel the accessory rail sight hole indicator and just a nice package so you're looking at a five pound trigger with a reset right there it's a it's an accurate little shooter for this little subcompact gun. Very very much pleased with this in the past oh, seven eight months since I've had it. Now let's go ahead and get this on the scale because I want to show you why it's a big hit for CCW. Let's take a look at the unloaded weight with the 13 round mag. We're looking at one pound two and one eighth ounces. 18 and 1 8 ounce so if we take a 13 round mag that is loaded all right i just grabbed this from the other one you'll see that it's weighing in at 23 and 3 quarters ounces let's take a carry round there and you're looking at 24 and a quarter ounces so under 25 ounces with 14 rounds i think that is excellent for ccw but if you want that 11 round mag all right you can do that and here we're looking at 22 and 5 eighths. Here's your carry round. 23 ounces even. So I I don't know. I just think that that's a, a very lightweight and pretty high capacity for a gun this size. I, I should say pretty high capacity. The highest capacity in the industry. Let's go ahead and lock the slide back. And we'll take a look at the internals and pull the trigger here and see that there is your pop
polymer frame, a dual recoil spring. Speaking of which, that dual recoil spring cuts down on the recoil. 9mm doesn't offer much in terms of recoil, but I I feel this is a very comfortable shooter, and I like that flat dark earth. I think they did a great job. I'm a fan of beautiful guns. I think you are too, aren't you? Something about beautiful guns, just, you know, it's, it's eye-catching, and... I'm, I'm a bigger fan of guns that perform well, but if you can combine both beauty and function, then you're doing pretty well. And I think that's what Springfield accomplished here. They, they have this flat dark earth model. Many people just like the black. You know, you got the OSP model. You've got the standard. And then if you don't want the dot, you can take that off. It has a plate. It has a plate that they offer right here. You can put that in and take the dot off. And it's got the hardware and the hex wrenches and everything else in the back. So it does offer options. And uh, I appreciate that. You have the magazine options. You now have the color options. You have the OSP or the standard options. And this weight that it has with 14 rounds and 24 and a quarter ounce is very light. Makes for a very nice CCW gun. It, it performs great. Shoots outstanding. So I'm going to get this to the range. I'm going to check out that, that red dot. It seems to be aligned very well. And my aging eyes have been, especially the last couple of years, major astigmatism, uh, left eye dominant. I, I'm thinking that this could be the solution for me. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to shoot them side by side and see if I can have a more success with that red dot. I'm certainly looking forward to it. It is beautiful and I think Springfield did an excellent job with this flat dark earth finish. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.